One of the hardest hitting and influential drummers of all time, Mitch Mitchell was a huge part of Jimi Hendrix's sound as he delivered the speed, grooves, and rhythms that gave Hendrix the huge sound he was known for. As an influence of generations of drummers, Mitch proved to be one of the best drummers of all time and one of the most dynamic drummers of his generation. In this video, those who have been influenced by Mitch have come together to pay tribute to his drumming and his impact on music. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more great videos just like this one. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Number 3. Chris Layton This is a 1970 Black Panther Ludwig drum kit. Mitch Mitchell played one at Woodstock. And when we got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, um, his wife, Dee, his widow, loaned me this Mitch Mitchell's Superphonic Ludwig snare drum, and then she gifted it to me. So that's what I'm playing is Mitch Mitchell's drum here today. You know, Mitch and I later became friends, and he told me all these great stories. You know, I asked him what he thought about rock and roll. He thought it was vile rubbish. He said, oh, you know, Elvin Jones and Philly Joe Jones and Max Roach, all these people. He's a jazz guy who met Jimi Hendrix and they created a whole thing that was kind of in a strange way, kind of out of context. Uh, being in Chicago, Ludwig Drum Company, Mitch Mitchell's Ludwig snare drum, you know, me playing this, doing a show with Experience Hendrix tonight, which John McDermott, the uh, director of that, had called me out of the blue years ago and said, hey, you want to come do this thing, which was just a show. And I went, yeah, you know, so I got to meet Mitch and Billy Cox and Buddy Miles and all these people that 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 many years ago, and then I guess I become the drummer for the tour, one of them anyway, because I spent you know a while trying to get Mitch's vocabulary, and then the where he came from too, which was a lot of great drum instruction, you know, rudimental playing and whatnot. But um, we do manic depression every night, and so this one of it's, this is Mitch's deal, as he described it, and me too is like his favorite waltz, and it's one of my favorite waltzes too. Mitch Mitchell had a great way of like just mixing stuff up that sounded really confusing, but it combines all those elements. Or when you turn it, when you add everything into it. He actually showed me how to play that one time, which is very, uh, very little going on down here until the very end. I'd come from, you know, a father that had played me all these great 78s of, you know, uh, Duke Ellington, uh, Benny Goodman, Count Basie, Chick Webb Orchestra. And when I heard that song come on the radio, I was like, wow, well, this is really wild. I go, the drummer sounds like one of those guys that would be in that band. But then there's all this other stuff going on with, you know, feedback and reverb, you know, in the music. And I was like, I got to know what's going on here. But this goes back to, you know, back when I first met Stevie, it was an accidental happening that we ended up on stage together playing blues, of which I was a real novice. And then he came over to the apartment the next day, walked in and me playing along to a Donny Hathaway record, Donny Hathaway Live. And he said, man, he goes, what else do you like? I said, well, I love Jimmy Hendrix. He goes, I do too. And then a short time later, he said, you want to be in my band? And then, so all this kind of carries forward to today. Number two, those who have paid tribute to him. One, two, three!
number one, Stuart Copeland and Nick Mason. And the one thing I, I see that you have in common is your favorite drummer is the same person. Yeah, we, yeah Mitch Mitchell, we worked this out last night. We've, yeah. We sorted out the hierarchy last That's night. That's exactly right. And uh, I knew we were really on it because the table next door were beginning to eavesdrop. Yeah. And after five minutes, they'd both actually gone to sleep. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so, we lost them. Yeah. We Mitch, lost them by so the main So you both course. agree that Mitch Mitchell was your favourite drummer? Of, yeah, our favourite. Of all time. This was Jimi Hendrix's drummer. I think we should explain to those of you who are not as old as, let's say, we are. <laughs> well, that's um, the travesty right there. This great towering, this monument of drums was Jimi Hendrix's drummer. Well, how would you describe him? Well, Jimi was Mitch's guitarist. OK, for... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there it is. Was there anything in the video you didn't know or that surprised you? What's your favorite Jimi Hendrix experience song? Have you ever seen Mitch live or any of the other musicians in the video perform? What is your favorite Mitch Mitchell moment? Let us know in the comments down below. Please leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Rock on.